Well, the South West's Green MEP Molly Scott Cato has been marking the 100th anniversary of women winning the right to vote by fasting for democracy for 24 hours. She joined other MEPs, MPs and leading political figures to demand that 100 years on, our voting system should be reformed. Well, she joins us now from uh, Strasbourg. This sounds like a, a, a tribute to the suffragettes, but also a taking stock. I think that's right. I mean, obviously, it's a very special day for all women today, but I think particularly women in politics. And we wanted to make this symbolic gesture to remember the extraordinary sacrifices that those very brave women made 100 years ago. But we're also looking forward and saying what they were interested in really was fair votes and fair representation. And we think that now in order to take that legacy forward, we need to make sure that we have a fair voting system and a proportional system so that the way we vote is really represented in the House of Commons. Isn't the worry, though, surrounding proportional uh, representation that it may give more power to minority, more nationalist parties? I think there's a lots, lots of things that aren't working very well with our democracy at the moment. But, for example, one is that we have these very concentrated blocks and we have a lot of conflict within our parties. But also, if you look at a place like Cornwall, they have six MPs. They're all Conservatives, even though only about half the people there actually voted Conservative. So I think we really need to think about not just defending the democratic rights that we have, but actually revitalising our democracy. And I think a fair voting system where we had more parties represented would actually start to do that. If you look at what's happened in Scotland, for example, Example. Having a, a proportional system has brought more women into politics, it's brought more ethnic minority people into politics. It's really revitalised their democracy and I'd like to see that happening across the UK. Well, PR has been talked about um, for years. Do you think it's time generally for politi politicians to work more cross-party uh, to be more inclusive rather than divisive? Well, one of the things people say that they hate about the British democratic system and, and the Westminster system is this fight between government and opposition, you know, the punch and duty politics. And here in the European Parliament, because we have to build a majority across lots of different parties and groups, we actually have to work together, we have to find ways to compromise, and we have to focus on what we agree about rather than what we disagree about. And I think it will be very refreshing to see those sorts of changes, and I think it would really strengthen our democracy and, and perhaps cause less irritation to people watching politics on TV. Okay, Molly Scott Cato, thanks very much indeed for joining us.